South Korea's shipbuilding industry once again topped the sector worldwide in terms of orders last month. And it's looking to maintain its global edge through green technology and digitalization. Our economics correspondent Lee Soo-jin tells us more. South Korean shipbuilders have been turning to green technology and embarking on a digital transformation. According to shipping analysis firm Clarkson Research, shipbuilders here won 1.54 million compensated gross tons, or 62 percent, of global shipbuilding orders in October, overtaking their biggest competitors, Chinese firms, which secured 33 percent. This upward trend is expected to continue as the shipping industry moves towards alternative fuels to meet international maritime organization standards. The IMO, a UN agency that regulates global shipping, revised its greenhouse gas strategy in July to aim for net zero emissions by around 2050. And it's not just big shipyards that are making headway in developing green technologies. This ship right here, operated by a local port authority, is Asia's first LNG fueled ship. It uses truck-to-ship bunkering where LNG is transferred from a truck to a ship as well as an alternative maritime power system where ships in port use electricity from the national grid rather than generating their own using diesel generators. Most of these operations such as the LNG bunkering have also been digitalized and can now be managed from a command post on the ship's bridge. There are also smart shipyards such as one in Hanwha Ocean, where robots and virtual reality are used in the building process to increase efficiency and shorten development cycles. We are working towards incorporating the latest ICT technologies to connect the entire shipyard and establish a smart and secure development system that can be operated autonomously. It has also established a high-tech lab dedicated to researching ways to prevent sloshing or liquid movement that can damage tanks that contain liquid fuel such as LNG. And accelerating digital transformation will help South Korea stay competitive in shipbuilding, according to an industry expert. The big three are already doing a considerable amount of their own technological development. This means that by 2030, it's highly likely that we will at least be able to reach the third stage of digitalization. The third stage of digitalization includes building a ship with an AI platform that will give directions to the crew on how to fix any issues, with the fourth and final stage being completely unmanned ships. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.